More spiders. These can't be your beheaded rigid jacks. That's a big boy. Wish. Bye bye. Woo. Almost got my ass. What it do? It's your boy KJ, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We are picking right back up where we left off. Repair. Oh, I guess you can't repair that. Because that's where we came from. I'm an idiot. I can shoot the symbol, but it doesn't stay lit for long. I thought the magic you did goes away when you die. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. So like, how did they leave all this behind? You know what I'm saying? I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Incendio! Goddamn spiders. What's over here? I'm not going to touch those. Ugh. We got here. That platform ought to be able to float straight to me. Glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could I...
here. Sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. Damn right. So can I. Where's the better one? Ah, I see it. Noise. piece of the puzzle. Not a piece of the piece. Alright, what else we got in here? Random money just laying around. It's a good thing Jack Daw didn't fall down there. Mm-hmm. Akio! That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him.
I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be your bad adventure jacks. That's a big boy. Wish. Bye bye. Woo. Almost got my ass. Spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. An untouched chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Getting closer to Jack Daw's remains and those pages. You would think. There's Jack Daw looking dead as ever. What? Damn, happened? Jack. Here it is. The map that brought he your did. doom, Jack Daw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room?
what's happening. I've seen this before. Mm -hmm. From God's and the restricted section. Starting to flood. A room. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? Ancient magic, bitch. No. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Can it be? Who the hell is that? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. Nope. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention and... Might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. Mm. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss, but first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm, that is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Shit. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. This is why I don't ask questions. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. All right, I'll bring the Very book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. the talents now <laughs> we pretty much bought everything we can buy <laughs> i love cheats i found the pages and the map chamber i should have why would i need room the book more. Long ass staircases. I'm back at Hogwarts. 
I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. Deep promised him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. You need to learn De Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Okay, Professor Sharp. Oh yeah, we about to learn to fly, y'all. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! Noise. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Wish I had my own broom. Yes. Good. And leave. Ah! I think I'm getting the hang of this. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Good. I've got this. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. This Wish you could dope. have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. to make an appearance once in a while. Huh. Ah. Huh. That wasn't too bad. Man, this is dope. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of Maybe. myself. 
We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? I like the sound of that. Say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. A bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. Right. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Damn, you too fast. Dismount here. That was dope. And where have you two been? Shit. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. Hmm. I'm in trouble, girl. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Gracias. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. Yeah, no regrets. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Here we go. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. I'm just having my own bedroom. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. Shit, I have an idea of somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Alright, but let me go to Hogsmeade. If I can buy a broom. Ah, 
a new face. Wonderful. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Mm-hmm. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we Which... looking for today? Which one should we get? It's by the wall. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! <laughs> knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Sure. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Why do I keep getting <sighs> I can't help but admire Mr. Item. Weeks' enthusiasm. I want to fly some more. Sweet. If it isn't Slytherin's newest broom talent. Transfiguration. I switched the writing ink with fobberworm. Hello, Amelda. Bitch. Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? Mm -hmm. You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. Hmm. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. <laughs> but for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't right. be what passes for Slytherin these days. Pfft, ragged old hats dropping at standards. Gangsta, Enough bitch. of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. All right. Slytherin versus Slytherin. All right, fight with me, dog. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Success. Thank you. I'm going way too fast. <laughs> I'm 
go way too fast. How do I restart? This is 